Today I'm going to do a brief demonstration that shows how you can send HTML formatted email messages from Salesforce using our product, CloudExtend for Salesforce.com. If I come over and I look at a lead, this is Peyton Manning, quarterback of the Denver Broncos. If I want to send him an email message, I can open up the Sales Guides section, which exposes the CloudExtend wizards. And I've got a wizard here to let me select an HTML formatted email message to send. When I start running that wizard, I get an introductory screen, and it'll let me choose what type of message to send to Peyton Manning from the Denver Broncos. I could send a close the file message saying you haven't responded to multiple inquiries. I could send up a follow-up email message, or I could send an introductory message. So let's start with an introductory message. And when I do that, I've got a text editor, actually a full HTML editor that pops up. And I've got some default text in here with a graphic, and I've got bullets and different fonts just to show that this is really HTML formatted. I could add some text. We have a mutual friend, and I could use the formatting capability. I could underline, and well, if I highlight it, I could do that. I could underline, make it um, italicized, and when I'm ready, I can go ahead and send that email message. If I switch over to my email client, here is that message that came in. By the way, I hard-coded Peyton Manning's email address to my email address. If I come in and look at that message, I see there's the message. We've got the graphics, we've got that text that I added, and you've got different fonts. So you've got a true HTML formatted email message here. Let me go back and uh, run the guide again and select a different type of message. Uh, this time we'll say I'm going to send a, a follow-up to an inquiry message. And again, I get the HTML editor comes up. This time there's an App Exchange logo at the bottom. I could add some text and say, uh, hope our ROI doc was useful. And send that message. And if I come back into the email client again, you will see that we've got that message. So we had the introductory message. Now we've got the follow-up message. And uh, if we take a look, the graphics there, the text I added was there, and you have different fonts. Coming back over to Salesforce, one thing I want you to notice is that we are recording these email messages to the activity history on the lead. So the uh, product not only sends HTML formatted email messages, it records that in the activity history. If we run this one more time, we'll do that last one, close the file. Peyton hasn't responded to multiple attempts to contact. We're not going to clutter up your inbox any further. I'm not going to spend any time editing this. If he hasn't responded, I'll just send the message. And again, coming back over to the email client, we've got the email message uh, saying, seems you're not interested. And if I go in again, you can see that we've got the HTML formatted message there. So that's a demonstration that shows how you can send HTML formatted email messages. Those messages can be sent from leads. They could be sent to contacts. Uh, and they can be recorded in the activity history of any object in Salesforce. Here's the Cloud Extend guide that actually generated those messages and walked me through that process. And this is just a small snippet of a guide that you would probably use in a real Cloud Extend guide. This would be a small part of a much larger process. But you can see we have that initial screen that just says, what type of message are you going to send? And I can preview that and uh, see what that screen looks like. And because there are three options for introductory, follow-up, or close the file, we have three branches. Then uh, the next step is an automated step, which lets us send freeform email. And you'll notice that I've set this up so that we have default text. And that's where I entered in that default text, you know, dear first name. Uh, I've got the username here at the bottom. And this is a full HTML editor as well. So you can set up the default text any way you want. In fact, you can actually go in and edit the HTML directly if you prefer. So that's the uh, demonstration of how CloudExtend can send HTML formatted email messages. I hope you enjoyed it.